Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is an introduction, an introduction to a relatively new YouTuber who's putting a lot of effort into the content that he's creating. His name is Tiger Stacker. If you're unfamiliar with Tiger, it is my pleasure to introduce him to you. And I just want to give you a heads up. This video is shot in a different format from my normal videos. This is more of a podcast style. So feel free to sit back, relax, and listen to my interview with the new YouTuber, Tiger Stacker. Enjoy. <laughs> Stacker, how's it going, man? Hey, T, how's it going, man? It's going really, really well. A uh, happy new year to you. Happy new year to you too and your family. Yeah, you too. Uh, where in the world are you right now? Are you are you at work taking a break? Or are you at home? Or I'm at home. Okay. And this is my wonderful little man cave where I like to do a good bit of my videos. So, hey, my friend and I were talking the other day, and uh, he was asking me, who is this Tiger Stacker guy? So uh, this is basically, uh, you know, the intro. Those folks who attend my weekend auctions know you, and, uh, you know, we, we chat online. But here's your chance to tell uh, all of my audience who the heck is Tiger Stacker. So tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got started on YouTube. Uh, who is Tiger Stacker? Well, um, the uh, son of a middle-income family. Mm -hmm. uh, my grandfather was born in the 1890s. He went through a lot of stuff that happened through all those years and mm -hmm. Federal Reserve and FDR and Nixon and all that. Mm -hmm. Gave me some pieces of wisdom, which didn't make a whole, made some sense to me as a kid, but not, not, not like it does now. Mm -hmm. um, my dad was a pipe fitter and welder. Oh. He, could, he could fix everything. Mm-hmm. He, electricity, carpentry, uh, electricity, plumbing, you name it, he could do everything. Yeah, um, that's a lost art, my friend. Oh, it is. I didn't pick it up. He's of Serbian background, and uh, family first has always been a big thing for my dad. So I went ahead and learned that lesson and stuck with it. About two and a half to three years ago, I started mo getting more and more and more uneasy about mm -hmm. money and felt that there was something wrong couldn't put my finger on it was angry with myself because i wasn't very much of a good um how should i say this i wasn't a very good saver mm -hmm. believed all the garbage that was told to me well, my fault no one else's and my friend and i were talking he got me a little bit into robin hood on, on stocks which I never had luck with stocks, and once again, didn't have it again. Mm -hmm. But out of that, he got me into a little bit of uh, cryptocurrency. I lost some on that, not as much. But I started remembering my grandfather. He, When I was a kid, I was born in 62. Mm -hmm. And back then, still, some of the coins were, ru were running around with uh, silver in them. Uh, I'd occasionally see a, a silver dollar, you know, that type of thing. And I mm -hmm. started remembering what my grandfather always taught me sure Fig figures don't lie but liars can figure mm -hmm. so i started waking up and started talking to my same friend he says well if you're looking at metals go to this pawn shop all in one she's mm -hmm. got a great reputation i did and i knew nothing they taught me a lot i bought my very first ten thousand dollars worth from uh, american hartford gold don't ever use them. They'll rob you blind. Whoa. Oh, yeah. I bought a, well, just as one of many examples, I bought a Volcambi Combi Bar Gold. Mm -hmm. They charged $500 more than the competition. I knew nothing about that. Um, it just so happened that you know, the internet, then with the internet, does. they see you looking at precious metals, they throw something at you to look at too. Mm -hmm. so I saw Money Metals Exchange, looked at what their prices were, realized I got taken advantage of, and I've been warning people about them ever since. Wow. Then, you know, I 
stumbled into um, uh, Lynette Zhang, uh, ITM Trading. Mm -hmm. Started watching her stuff, and I love uh, love that lady. I don't want to uh, buy from her company because they're always pushing the the slabbed pre thirty threes, which are really expensive, and I'm not really sure that that's the smartest way to go. Mm -hmm. But I watched her religiously. Mm -hmm. Then I found Yankee Stacking. Then I found Silver Dragons, and I found other people. Um, I believe at that time you were popping into uh, uh, Yankee Stacking's videos a lot. So I, I, I liked uh, what you were doing over there. Mm -hmm. and when I found that you had your own channel, I started watching you. But that's a little bit of how I started. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, that's how you started stacking. What caused you to take the plunge to? to start making your own videos silver dragons yankee stacking uh -huh. stormy mm -hmm. and tooly tooly those yeah. were the first four that uh -huh. were telling me go for it go for it go for it go for it and yeah i didn't think i could um but i did want to change my name uh -huh. i did change my name uh yankee actually helped me pick the name actually i have a video on the whole thing if you ever want to watch it it's called why why question mark tiger question mark mm -hmm. yeah i did watch that one <laughs> uh, thank you uh i got on the internet found a mask uh that i i wore for for kicks and giggles and my wife's born year the snake <laughs> uh -huh. um and so i got her one and during one of my monthly meetings with yankee uh we turned on the camera when she and i were both on in the masks He's, <laughs> he howled with laughter <laughs> he took he took a picture in his next live stream and says, I'm going to expose you. I'm giving you a face reveal, <laughs> buddy. And he showed that one. So most of my career, my part my my uh my creativity, uh, my humor had to be controlled to the point where I thought that part was dead. Uh -huh. But when Tiger Stacker started coming to life is when I started making jokes. Uh, becoming more comfortable in my skin mm -hmm. and and then you know when i first did my first three videos that they, they were nice and mellow because i i watched everyone's beginning including yours oh yeah i'll tell you what yeah when you first start off it's just trial and error and uh you know when you look back a year or two later you kind of cringe a little bit, you know, watching uh, your first videos. And that goes for just about everybody who does this, you know? Oh, yeah. I watched a lot of Tooley's videos early on mm -hmm. on how to edit because I didn't know anything. And I stumbled through the YouTube editor, which is horrible. Uh, my wife says, you know, let, let, me, let me have your phone. I'm going to put a nap in there. She found the app was already in there. She showed me for the next three videos. She edited on iMovie for the next three videos mm -hmm. and then uh, she started seeing that I was doing it myself and I was maybe adding a little bit of music maybe doing this and that and then she said you know I'm going to uh, have you help my brother will help you because or your, my, my brother help you which he was already helping her with her channel mm -hmm. and, you know in case I never told you this this one's her channel dog world and you sure uh, excellent uh, channel oh you've seen it oh yeah uh-huh yeah. oh, we've got a puppy at home and so he's not so much of a puppy anymore but uh we've uh, gone on there to watch uh, to get some advice <laughs> uh, my brother who lives in ukraine mm -hmm. he does all my tech and he uh, my wife translates uh you know when i'm when she's not around i fumble with my bad russian but she told me that he said that uh your channel mm -hmm. is, is is different than everyone else's so he likes to go to yours a lot oh good to know yeah it's like it's, he told my wife to translate for me says the two most unique channels is 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 your husband's, aka him helping me. Uh, <laughs> then he says, and T the silver stacker. He's he's very original how he does things. Well, that's quite an honor. Uh, I I uh, 
You know, I have kind of a short attention span and I've watched so many dozens and dozens, hundreds and hundreds of videos. And I always appreciate the folks that splice in a little extra video clip here, imagery there, something that, you know, kind of causes the person to keep their attention on the video. And uh, so I try to, uh, as I make my videos, think of the person on the other end of that watching that might have as a short of a attention span as I do and uh, patience level. <laughs> uh, so I try to make it as entertaining and it's not uncommon for me uh, to take, you know, I don't know, 30 minutes worth of video and con condense it into 12 or 13 uh, with all just the best parts and the most interesting uh, things uh, included. So uh, I appreciate uh, your brother-in-law and others uh, around the world uh, noticing that it's quite the honor. Yeah, you know, and and he does. He, he he. I didn't even know that till a couple of days ago. <laughs> but he went on about how how you know, how happy he likes your stuff. Yeah. My wife absolutely, absolutely, absolutely loves anything with dogs. She still uh -huh. every everything with a dog uh -huh. or snakes or romance. But then it started going on from there. <laughs> and basically, anything that that sparkles. Uh huh. So, the, so Bentley definitely moved up in the world. Yeah, for those who don't know, uh, Bentley is my uh, channel mascot. He's our little puppy we have at home. And, uh, yeah, he gets on uh, camera from time to time. <laughs> yeah, but you, you never address the real problem about Bentley. Uh-oh, what's that? The oh, boo. my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's an ongoing battle. Uh, you never talk ab about the silver shot that he leaves behind. <laughs> you only talk about how bad it smells. Uh, I only wish it was silver. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I thought I thought I'd share that with you. Um, oh man, I am looking forward to uh, to uh, getting into pouring. That's still coming. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, give yourself a whole morning. Uh, to dedicate if uh, when you start your uh, silver pouring uh, it is quite the process and if if done right you've got to really take your time uh, that's my advice to you but uh, it, I've found it to be a very very uh, gratifying hobby because it allows uh, for me it allows me to use my hands and uh, you know brain in a different way and the creativity flows when you are uh, when that 2000 degree silver is flowing <laughs> oh yeah i could imagine and i was wondering if i was going to be any good at it i always knew that i was had detail ability mm -hmm. i don't have my dad's ability to fix cars and plumbing and all that but detail mm -hmm. work but i wanted to also share with you some some things that you got me into <laughs> oh yeah there you go oh that's a beautiful two ounce right there yep can you believe i got this one for 80 dollars from stormy Wow, that's a bargain right there. Yeah, that was an amazing pickup. Uh -huh. no, no one bid on it. And just that's crazy. Off the screen, I put the bid, the asking bid down, and got it at the asking bid. Wow. And this right here. Uh huh. You know this piece. Oh yeah. That's a beauty right there too. <laughs> Look where I got it from. Oh yeah. One I wasn't able to snatch up. <laughs> no, you were there. Yeah, yeah, it was one of the very first videos I watched with you. You uh -huh. were looking at two. Yeah. Two uh -huh. boxes. I called her up. Yeah. I ordered this one. I said, "Can I have the uh, the the proof one too?" No, nope, T bought that one, which <laughs> which yeah. I later bought on your auction when you put it up for auction. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, went ahead and did that, uh -huh. and. Uh, Funniest thing in the world. God love that woman. I love her to death. She's funny as can be. Mm -hmm. And the more inappropriate she is, the more I love her. Uh, <laughs> I'm very glad to have uh, met Sherry and uh, share her with the world because uh, she is a riot. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, some of the stuff that we talk about, I have to cut off, cut out of the video. Uh, but uh, <laughs> whatever you guys do see, just understand that's the edited version. In real life, uh, she is uh, a lot of fun, I'll tell you. I believe that. That's what this is uh, for so many people. It's escapism. Yes, And uh, you know what? That's why I try to kind of do my best, not always, but I do my best to keep the 
politics and uh, you know other things out of it that cause you to re be rem reminded that you know the world's a crazy place. And <laughs> um, I just try to keep it as educational and fun. And I, I applaud uh, folks who do that. And I, 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 you know, you know, everybody has their own style, but that's just kind of yes. my style. Well, mine is, mine is a similar but yet different mine's mm -hmm. uh, style where I want to keep it fun, but I want to keep it, keep it real because we're sure. facing really tough times. Mm -hmm. I would love to not talk politics. Yeah. Um, years ago when I was going off to med school, I lived in a little fantasy world where I believed you know, if I was just a good guy, a good scientist, a good doctor, the mm -hmm. politics would leave me alone. <laughs> and boy, well, it's that naive. Sure. So I had to learn the hard way that mm -hmm. the world's not going to leave you alone. They're, they're going to do what they, they want to do with you. Mm -hmm. And you just got to deal. Mm -hmm. but, so my, my channel does try to keep it fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, I accidentally stumbled into the tiger. Uh, that was not a that was not a planned thing. Tiger Stacker took a life of his own, and I had I'm having a good time with everything, but yet I try to teach what's going on in the world. I try to prepare people for what's coming up. And try to remind them what the past used to be, whether it's far as back with my grandfather or it started off with mine because I've did, done videos on all that. Mm -hmm. But I also try to teach from a scientific point of view where I talk about different things about uh, silver and gold. And um, I did a video on, on why it's God's money, which mm -hmm. is, is uh, I'm, I'm, uh, 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 mo. I'm close to what you are, T. You're you're Catholic. I'm Orthodox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a different flavor, my friend. Just a little, just a little bit different. And I try to teach about this is all interrelated, whether it's uh, money or you know uh, metals or whatever. And this is we we would have none of this mm -hmm. if it wasn't for God. I hear you. And you know what, Tiger? I think that's a great place to leave it right there. That pretty much sums it up, my friend. Yes, sir. And I uh, I hear Mrs. T uh, has got a <laughs> dinner on the table. So I am going to uh, say goodbye uh, for now. But uh, Sounds perfect. we'll do have to do it again sometime. Sounds good. I appreciate your time. You're a busy, very busy man, and I appreciate what you can give me. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. You have a good one. God bless. Thank Thank you for, for uh, promoting my channel. I really appreciate it. You got it, buddy. Bye, everyone. <laughs>